So, have you just started your engineering journey at university and are looking to make the most of this time as a student? If so, you're at the right place and my name is Saga. I graduated from aerospace engineering just this year and have now started to work in London as a software engineer. So in this video, I have eight tips lined up that can help you make the most of your time at university, capitalize on the cool stuff you can do as a student and also set yourself up in order to be the best of the best once graduation comes around. Tip number one, join a student project. Unfortunately, uni degrees nowadays don't really have enough practical experience to actually make you useful to an employer in the workforce. That's why student projects are an amazing place to develop your skills, hands-on skills and other practical skills that you might need in the workplace as well as being able to meet some awesome talented individuals at your university. Tip number two, study abroad. Studying abroad is overall an amazing experience. You get to explore a new area in the world, you also get to meet some awesome and people from like various other countries and more importantly you get to develop your skills to be able to be more independent and you know in essence survive on your own without any other support around you. Studying abroad also broadens your horizons and also you know might entice you to perhaps work in other countries once you've graduated. My third point is to research and apply for internships. To be honest I'd say the salary that you get when you graduate is probably going to be down to your practical experiences and skills you have to offer. And with internships, you have a very good likelihood that you'll gain a lot of useful skills that employers in the future would want to have. See, I personally didn't do an internship. However, when I was applying for graduate roles, I could see the, you know, the the benefit really of having an internship or have done an internship should I say and in essence I think I missed out on that but if I were you and if I was in first year again I would definitely be scouting out for internships whether it be over the summer maybe just over say half term or something or whatever the holidays called in the middle of uni or even just over full a full year. Tip number four keep on top of the new technology trends. You know what, I'd say not many people actually do this because, you know, there was most people that I used to talk to, they weren't really aware of what sort of technological changes are happening in the world. And something I think is really important to do whilst you're at university is just to be aware of what kind of new jobs are becoming available and also where the job market sort of is, is moving towards. University degree is actually quite a long time when you think about it. Some people stay there for three, four, or even five years at university just to get their undergrad or masters. And in that time span, technology changes a huge amount. So maybe what was in high demand at the beginning of your degree may not be the high demand jobs that are there at the end of your degree. So I'd say stay aware of what sort of jobs are available and what sort of skills you need to have to get into those jobs. Because if you do see maybe one area of the job market growing even more and there's like gaps there that needs to be filled, I'd say look at the skills required to get into that area and try and learn that yourself whilst you're studying your other degree, well your, your, your one degree at university. Tip number five, learn something outside of your degree. I think it's super, super important to build a habit of being able to learn something outside of your main degree because you're going to learn so much more than what other people are learning around you. And the important thing to remember is you're not special to put it bluntly. You're actually one in a whole host of students across the country, across the planet, who are all studying the same exact subject. So you got to think about, you know, how can I differentiate myself from everyone around me? And one of the good ways to do that is just to learn additional skills, whether it could be programming, whether it could be, I don't know, some sort of design or whatever, really anything else that could supplement your skills that you learn in your degree, but also could be used in a professional environment. And often it's quite evident that if you are remaining as a lifelong learner it's likely you're going to be earning much more than people who just decide to learn during school and then learn nothing else after that. Tip number six is don't forget that you're at university to go on to get 
a higher paying job. I think a lot of people forget the reason for university existing and it's important to remember that the only reason re university exists is so you're able to gain the skills in order to then get a much more higher paying job than you would without university. However, this is not saying that you shouldn't try and get high paying jobs or earn a lot of money whilst at university. In fact, there's probably a really good time. Try and think about ways and actually get active on these ways to how you can generate money whilst at university. I'd say because you're an engineering student, you're likely to be very a competent and able to solve problems and one of the best ways to actually start a company if that's the method you want to go down to start generating some money is to solve someone else's problem that they're willing to pay you for in essence. So yes you could start your own company whilst at university. Another way to generate money would be also do freelance work on a skill that you already know or maybe you can learn a skill from the previous tips I've been saying to learn stuff and then monetize that. Or the last one could be to just do part-time work at a company that's within the same field of engineering that you want to go into in the future. So ultimately what I'm trying to get to you in this tip is just make sure that you're aware you don't have to actually wait until you graduate to start trying to earn a lot of money. Tip number seven, use LinkedIn. LinkedIn in essence is just like a social media platform for business and that sort of side of things in life. One of the great things though with with LinkedIn is that you're able to see what jobs other people are doing and also connect with them and talk to them on LinkedIn. And what I'd advise you to do if you are in first year is trying to connect with as many people as you can in the area of industry you want to go into or maybe you see some individuals that are doing some super cool things, maybe they have their own startups or whatever. And I think it's interesting to message them and see how they got to their position. And from that, you can kind of gauge as in like what skills you need to learn, what experiences you need to explore in order to have that sort of uh, skill set to go on to do the things that you want to do. Because once you know the skill gaps you have after talking to these individuals, you'll have a much more clearer view of what you need to learn and what you need to pursue. Instead of being like, um, maybe I need to do this, maybe I need to do this, but I don't know. Now, after talking to these people in the places where you see yourself, you can be like, right, I don't have this, this and this, and that's what I need to focus on in the next few years in order to get to where I want to be once I finish university. Tip number eight is for my friends out there who are also wanting to go into coding sort of stuff or software engineering side of things. And that is to sign up to GitHub's student developer pack and they have a whole host of various services you can access for free. Um, they also give you credits on certain different platforms. I think on like some of the cloud computing platforms you get like free credits to use on some of their services. So I'd say definitely check that out as well if you're a student and you can only access it as a student because you have to sign in with your uh, university email address. And there you have it, that is my eight tips on how to make the most of university and as being a student in general and how you can best prepare yourself for life after university. And ultimately, yeah, with these tips, I think you're gonna have an amazing time at university and hopefully you do adopt, well, if you adopt all of them, amazing. If you adopt some of them, that's still great. But uh, you know, at least you are aware of what's possible for you guys whilst at university. If you did learn something new from this video, please like and also subscribe to my channel to learn more about how you can improve yourself and become a better engineer. If you've been inspired by this video to go on to learn new skills and you want to learn how to code and never have coded before, I recommend checking out this video of mine, which basically shows you how I learned to code. So check it out.